Hey dudes, do you remember this camera? The 5D Mark II? It launched back in November 2008. It created such a disruption in the film industry that even Hollywood productions had to succumb to its charms. And for many emerging filmmakers, people like me at the time, it helped redefine the film industry by leveling the playing field and thus earning the moniker, Game Changer. Now, 14 years on, these cameras are an absolute steal. So the big question is this, if you're starting out, should you consider buying one of these? Well, the best way for me to answer that question is to talk to you about my journey using the 5D Mark II. So let's get into it. It's crazy reflecting back on the 14 year journey I've had with this camera. As before 2008, I was shooting film. I had my trusty Canon AE-1 for stills, my 35mm Arri BL-2 for commercials and film work, and my Bolex for animation work. But before 2008, producers' budgets had already started to shrink. Our music video budgets dropped from 50k down to 5k. And that wasn't because of our work, it was because of an industry trend. And thus, the inevitable death of shooting on film was looming. And with a huge debt owing on my film camera, I got lucky when I picked up one of these, getting the first one in my state. And as they were hard to come by, I was able to snap up a lot of work and very easy rentals. So I had a little bit of luck for the smartest career move I've ever made. Then full frame just exploded. And within a couple of jobs, I'd paid for all of the lenses and the camera bodies. So I bought another one. And before I knew it, I was shooting campaigns all over the world. I banked almost $500,000, got an agent, bought a ton of other equipment and won a lot of cinematography awards, all from a Canon 5D Mark II. But most of all, I'd finally learnt the more expensive cameras don't make better cinematographers. Better cinematography comes from learning to serve the story, understanding light and composition. So I stuck with the 5D Mark II over the Mark III and IV and still use them to animate to this very day. Every single video on my channel has some 5D Mark II footage on it. So if that doesn't answer your question of whether a 5D Mark II is still a good camera today for stills or for video work, then I hope these examples will. Recently, I hit the beach in France following my friend who's a pro surfer. The beach isn't a great place for your own gear. It's a better environment for rentals, but as a favor on a no budget production, I took my least expensive, most disposable cameras, these guys. The shoot style was observational fly on the wall, all handheld, manual focus pulling at f1.2. And my day at the beach reminded me, this is such an easy camera to operate. And in some senses, I wish that Canon had stuck with this design and button layout. The menus, while advanced for 2008, now seem basic but that could be perfect for a novice videographer or someone who just wants to take photos. What I'm trying to say is the Canon 5D Mark II isn't intimidating at all to use. And for those who say, in 2022, you need a better camera than that to be successful online, this is my response. Here's an advert I DP'd for GetUp back in 2011 on a 5D Mark II. It has 16 million views. It was shot in one day, all natural available light. The footage has never been graded, it's just as I shot it. And here's another I DP'd for the Some of Us and the World Wildlife Foundation. It has over 7 million views. Could I have shot these on a red or an airy? Yeah, of course. Would that have made them better productions? Yeah, it would have. But those cameras wouldn't have made the stories or concepts better. And at the end of the day, serving the story that you want to tell is the most important thing of all. So if you only have a couple of hundred dollars and a 5D Mark II looks appealing, I say, Go for it. And I haven't even touched on how good these cameras are for photography, still to this day. I own a 4,000 US dollar R5, two EOS Rs, and I still pick up the Canon 5D Mark II every day to take photos. These things are just bulletproof. So what if they've only got a 20 megapixel sensor? The photos look fantastic. And while I might not get the hit rate on moving subjects compared with my R5, I do find the exposure meter in the 5D Mark II more accurate than the R5. So newer is not always better. It just depends on how you use the camera. But if you would like to see a more in-depth review on the 5D Mark II's photo capabilities, drop a comment down below 
and please consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell. Go on, it's free. I know that's asking a lot of you, but it actually does help creators grow the channels. And with that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.